we're back again at Water S Hill. One last test to see to see how the uh, new rear suspension right height is working. Make sure there's no issues. So just to be safe, we're uh, after sticking a GoPro right in there, so we can see what the suspension are doing, and uh, yeah, just make sure there's no issues. So back up here for a quick minute. Connor Shannon is here too. Red Bull's new athlete in his S15, so it's up for a quick test at the same time. So it's probably gonna rain, but that won't stop us. Predicting the future. Alright guys, it is late. Hmm, what time is it? 22.03, uh, Saturday, 8th of August. We've had a long day. As you can see, I'm absolutely destroyed because a couple of things didn't go to plan. Um, yesterday, after the dyno session, as you saw in the clip earlier, myself and Connor went to Water SL to do one last test. I wanted to just make sure we had no issues with the suspension on the back. As we went out on track, I was just driving a car and I noticed that, wait a second, it doesn't feel, doesn't feel quite right. And I did one lap and the steering was getting heavy and just a bit all over the place, unfortunately. We flushed the power steering fluid out of it, put in fresh power steering fluid, went out again, and uh, we actually had the steering rack fail. So it bust. The hardline BMW pipe from the center of the rack. I'm after misplacing the pipe, it's around somewhere. Anyway, long story short, bust the pipe, hardline BMW pipe out of the center of the rack. So yeah, very disappointing when we thought that we had all the power steering issues sorted. Um, and we're leaving in what, like eight hours time? We have to hit the road for Riga. So we had to make a quick decision, think on our feet, and unfortunately, we were so busy, I didn't get to have the camera rolling. But we ended up fitting two electric power steering pumps right here in the back, um, both running at the same time. One pump isn't good enough, I tested that before, and there isn't enough flow. It has enough pressure, but it doesn't have enough flow to have the steering rack working and feeling nice to drive. Uh, we don't have to run a restrictor so um, the fluid can escape from the rack fast enough and hopefully shouldn't have a pipe hardline pipe failure like that again. We all got stuck into the car and uh, got it ready for a test again tonight and luckily we actually had the alternator fail as well. Um, maybe you can see this. This failed on the back of the alternator that was on the car so that should be soldered like this and yeah it broke off. So luckily, on the test tonight, we noticed that the alternator failed, uh, so pulled the alternator off the S14, so last minute, uh, went back up to Watergrass Hill, Dave at Watergrass Hill was kind enough to give us one last test late this evening. The car felt absolutely brilliant, thank God. So, Alright, give me some luck.
really really happy we also went a little harder on the springs in the rear uh it's been a long day now we're just organizing our spares package to load into the van in the morning chris and cormac helped me t tonight uh just changing all the wheels so we have fresh falcon rt 615k plus tires mounted on the 720 wheels uh so we're actually getting there but not so much sleep and it's uh it's been one of those weeks unfortunately we also had the news that drift masters are only having one round this year because it's really difficult for everyone to travel across europe crossing all the borders we had to get a COVID 19 test before leaving ireland we have to get one when we arrive in latvia it's very difficult for a lot of the teams that compete in drift masters because usually a lot of the european teams are family and friends based so you have a lot of guys bringing their their parents out to help out uh their brothers and sisters girlfriends wives everyone very risky for people to be traveling to different countries just with the year that's in it so i think drift masters made a wise decision uh to have the first round give it a good build and uh see how it goes but Unfortunately, there won't be as many drift competitions as we'd like this year, but uh, we're still going to make the most of it. We have a lot of things planned. It's a tough one, but you know what comes first is health and safety. And uh, yeah, we're all trying our best and also trying our best to have a good time. In the morning, we are just going to organize and load up everything, get the car in the trailer and hit the road for Riga. It's 3,200 kilometers to Riga. The first ferry is from Ireland to France and that takes about 16 hours. And the second ferry is from Germany to Latvia and that takes 26 hours. So at least we have a lot of time to rest on the boat during the week. So late nights, early mornings, but this is morning sport, this is drifting. That's what it's all about. I'm quite used to it. This t-shirt was absolutely brand new this morning. My hands are wrecked. Uh, same for the guys, but it's all part of it. So, Jimmy, you coming to bed? Are you tired? Are you? Are you tired? So yeah, guys, crazy times, busy times, but it's all good. Chat to you tomorrow. Okay. So, we're after about three hours sleep. Uh, everything is looking good though. Car is washed, clean and ready to go. Looks so nice. Really happy with it. Is that dirty? Maybe. Really happy with how it looks. And uh, she is ready for the trip across the Riga. Right, I'm exhausted. Let's get the car in the trailer, get on the road. And uh, yeah, this party started. And we put it into this since we're going to be spotless when it comes out. That's right, yeah. <laughs> She is in. Okay guys, so we just arrived in Latvia and uh, we're just visiting our friends at Roby Works. They sent me an Instagram message last night inviting me here and they have their own little private test track. And two winter beaters, two BMWs, 2.5, so yeah, we're gonna just go out here and have some fun. We're just straight off the boat, 26 hours on the ferry from Germany to Latvia, but we got some nice rest. And uh, now we're about to have some fun. Hey, Manny, ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> A brilliant day with the guys at Roby Works driving the missile cars. Great fun. It's a big week for us ahead. It's the first 
and last round of Drift Masters for this year and uh, it's on one of my favorite tracks in Europe uh, if not the world I'm really really excited to push as hard as we can this weekend and see how far we can take it in the Eurofighter so that's it for this week guys hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for next week's video we'll see how this week unfolds so let's hope for the best take care guys thank you